In this movie, we'll take a look at some Unix commands that can help us when working with text files. Now when I say text file, I'm really talking about a file that has nothing in it but text. That's very different from a Microsoft Word document, which contains both formatting information and text. Right? These commands would not help us in those cases. For example, if we tried to do a word count of a Microsoft Word document, it would try and count all of the formatting information as well as the actual text of the document. So in all these cases, we're really talking about working with pure text files. So the three that we're going to be looking at are WC, which is short for word count, sort for sorting lines, and unique, UNIQ, there's no UE on the end of it, and that's for filtering in and out repeated lines. Let's take a look at all three and see how they work. So in terminal, notice that I'm already inside my user directory and I'm inside my Unix files directory. We can do ls-la on that and we'll see that I've added a new file here called fruit.txt. Take a look at the contents of that file. It's a very simple file, it just contains a list of fruit. Notice a couple of things about it though. Notice that they're not sorted. Notice that there are repeats in there. And notice in particular that strawberry is repeated immediately one after the other. Okay, so you can create your own. You can pause the movie and copy this list down if you want. They're also included in the exercise files. The important thing is to make sure that it's not sorted, that it contains duplicates, and at least one of those duplicates are one immediately following another. Okay, so let's try this out now. Let's look at our first one. We have WC, that's for word count, and all we do is say the file name that we want. WC fruit. Comes up and it gives me three numbers followed by the name of the file. The first number is the number of lines in the file. The second number is the number of words in the file, and a word is a set of characters with spaces on either side of it. That's what it considers a word. And then the third value is the characters in the file, the number of letters that have been used. So again, if we take a look at that file, cat fruit, you can see that there are 13 lines. Each line has one word, so there's also 13 words. And if we add it all up, there are 99 characters in that file. Let's try it with something a little more useful. Remember we have this lorem ipsum text, which is just fake Latin text, just a long document. Let's do wc lorem ipsum.txt. You'll see that it comes up and it tells me that that file has 523 lines, 5,289 words, and 36,232 characters. Now I just want to point out something here. If we do head lorem ipsum, we can take a peek at the beginning. Each one of these lines actually has a line return after it. I did that on purpose when I created this file. There is a line return at the end of each of these lines. Now with a lot of paragraphs, that would not be true, right? They would not be wrapped like this, they would just continue, and you wouldn't have a line return, it would just keep going. So every paragraph would be considered one line, right? So keep that in mind, when we're talking about lines, we're not talking about the lines that you see on your screen necessarily, we're talking about a line up until it gets to a line return. So that's really all there is to doing word count, it's a very simple utility, but it can be very useful. Uh, let's try working with the next one, which is sort. And all we do for sort is we say sort the lines in a file sort fruit.txt. So now it gives us that same list back, but it's been sorted. Now notice it did not actually change the file itself, right? If I do, the original file is untouched. What it did was just take that file, sort it, and output the results to me on the screen. Now I could copy and paste it, or as we'll see in the next chapter, I could then send that to a file, and we'll see how to do that. I want you to make sure you realize that it's not actually sorting the contents of the text file itself. All right, let's try that with our lorem ipsum. Let's try sort lorem ipsum.txt. Again, each one of these has a line return after it, so each one is considered a line. If they were paragraphs, then this would not behave the same way. Notice that we're seeing all the V's down here at the bottom. I just want to scroll up a bit through the alphabet till we get up here to the A's. Here we have the A's. Now notice this, lowercase a, and then we start over with capital V. Capital letters and lowercase letters are treated differently by sort by default. Now we can pass in the F option and we can change that. Right, so let's do dash F. I'll clear the screen just so we have everything gone from before. And now look, you see that they're mixed in, the, the uppercase and lowercase. So that's the F option. There's also a reverse sort. Let's take out the F option and do an R. That's for reverse. Now we see a lot of blank lines here. If we scroll up, you'll see that blank lines count as lines. They get sorted before the A's, right? So there's the A's, we keep going up, here's the C's and the D's and so on. Okay, so that's reverse sort, and it also helps you to see that these blank lines are still included as lines. And then the last thing let's do is if we sort, sort fruit reverse first, just so you can see that it reverse sorts those. That's nice and easy to see. And let's do sort dash U, and that's the option for sorted and unique, right? So we get rid of all those duplicates at the same time. Sorted and unique, now each entry just occurs once. Okay, notice what it did there. It sorted them, and it made sure we only had each one one time. So sort has its built-in unique option. 
There are a couple of other options. You can look at the man pages to see what those are. But sort is a really, really useful tool. It actually works well with other commands. We'll see that later. We'll see how to use two commands together. But sort is, uh, is really useful for that. Another one that works well with other commands is unique. Unique allows you to filter in or out repeated lines in a file. The default is to dedupe the repeated lines. Let me show you by using it on our fruit file. And it's easy to see. Notice that apple is still in there twice. Right? It did not dedupe that. But strawberry is only in there once because strawberry is in there immediately after. So it does not sort them and dedupe them. It only goes down the line and says, ah, is this line the same as the next line? If it is, reduce it down to one. Right? Dedupe it till we only have one line. But it does not jump ahead and look around to other ones. We would have to sort it if we wanted that behavior. But one of the nice features of unique is that it has a couple of other options we can pass in. Unique dash D fruit will return the lines that are repeated. See, it tells me, oh, there was one line that was repeated in here. It was strawberry. That's a nice handy tool. There's also unique dash U, and this is show me the unduplicated lines. That's why we have the U. So now I'm seeing everything but strawberry. Strawberry's been completely taken out, not just deduped, but actually removed. So those are complementary of each other. Between unique dash D and unique dash U, you get the same thing that you get if you did the total list from unique. Having no option shows you the entire list, both duplicated and non-duplicated, but with no duplicates immediately following each other. So again, if your goal is really to completely dedupe it, then you either need to use sort with the unique option, or you'll need to use unique in combination with other commands, which we'll learn how to do in a little bit later. So these are all three really simple tools, but they can be very powerful when you're working with lots of data in text files.